can a large reflecting telescope on a large German equatorial mount be a true grab-and-go telescope? In this case, I'll show you. Here I have an old Mead Starfinder mounted on a restored BIS 812 German equatorial mount, and that is all mounted on a scope buggy with motorized leveling bolts. As shown here, I use a hand drill to uh, lower the scope buggy back onto its wheels. And with the uh, attached handle, it is very easy to move this mount around. Combined weight of all this is in excess of 140 pounds, yet it moves quite easily. The large oversized tires make traversing rough ground quite straightforward. In this case, the ground is very rough, yet I have no problems with either moving it or with the stability of the mount. To actually tip this mount over would require a considerable push from the side. It is very, very stable. The most critical part of this procedure is aligning to true north. Here I anchor first of all the, one of the rear corners of the scope buggy. This acts as an axis around which I can rotate the whole buggy and so aligning it towards true north. By taking a compass and accommodating for magnetic declaration, which in my case is 11 degrees east, I just rotate the front wheel around that axis formed by the, the anchored rear wheel on the scope buggy until it is aligned due north. Then I just simply anchor the front wheel and this scope is now aligned true north. Well, at least good enough for visual use. The next step is leveling the whole scope. I just use a simple bubble level and then using the motorized jacks I very quickly uh, attain a true level. A lot of people tend to chase the bubble by adjusting all three leveling jacks, but that is never necessary. You only ever need to adjust two of the jacks. So that's it. I'm done. Two minutes and 45 seconds and I'm ready to observe. Clear nights to you.